This is Neil Ratna Rock Doc here on WDST Radio Woodstock with another episode of This Week in Rock with support from Transcendental and my friend, the amazing dentist and rock star Bruce Milner. Visit Transcendental, his stunning new office at 2 Maverick Road on the corner of Maverick Road and Route 375. On September 12th, 1975, Pink Floyd released the album Wish You Were Here their follow-up to the wildly successful Dark Side of the Moon. Initially, they found it difficult to compose new material. The success of Dark Side of the Moon had left the band members physically and emotionally drained. However, despite the lack of creative direction, Roger Waters began to visualize a new concept, which in addition to expressing his feelings of the band's lost camaraderie and a critique of the music business, provided a fitting tribute to their old bandmate, Sid Barrett. The song, Shine On You Crazy Diamond, seemed a reasonable choice as a centerpiece for the new work. Mostly an instrumental 20-minute-plus piece, the opening four-note guitar phrase reminded both Gilmore and Waters of the lingering ghost of former band member Sid Barrett. On June 5, 1975, the band were completing the mix of Shine On You Crazy Diamond when a strange man entered Abbey Road Studios. My memory is that I came into the studio and there was this guy standing there in a gabardine raincoat, a large, large bloke, and I had no idea who it was. And surprisingly, no one's saying, who's that person? What's he doing wandering around all our gear <laughs> in the studio? And then, um, then him coming into the control room and standing around, and how remarkable how long it was before anyone actually woke up. Finally, I think it was David who said, um, uh, Nick, do you know, recognize him? And I looked, and I think I either shrugged my shoulders or at some point Dave sort of put me out of my misery and said, uh, it's, it's it. And uh, we just sort of stood there, or sat there, and just sort of shell shot, basically. And then until somebody thought of something to say to him. And then we were all unbelievably shocked at um, his appearance. I mean, I didn't recognize, I didn't know it was him. But it was um, pretty, pretty affecting, really. I mean, Roger and Dave cried. You know, this slim, elegant, if bedraggled and dazed person that I'd last seen had turned rather balloon-shaped and had no eyebrows and not much hair. Barrett had left the music business in 1972, retired from public life, and guarded his privacy until his death in 2006 from pancreatic cancer. Both David Gilmore and Roger Waters have praised the song Wish You Were Here as one of Pink Floyd's finest. Waters has noted that the collaboration between himself and Gilmore on the song was really good. All bits of it are really, really good. I'm very happy about it. And Gilmore has playfully called Wish You Were Here a very simple country song and stated that because of its resonance and the emotional weight it carries, it's one of our best songs. Okay, let's listen. Pink Floyd and Wish You Were Here. <laughs> 